dashing treasure hunter, or worse than frickin' Hitler. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things Nathan Drake has ever done. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail, but I was obviously very wrong. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays. Game smarter. For this list, we're recounting the horrible things Naughty Dog's charismatic, wise-cracking thief has ever done. Your smooth charm don't fool us, pretty boy. Hey! <sighs> Should've seen that one coming. Number 10. Lured a dangerous militia to an innocent Tibetan village. Nathan Drake has been close to death countless times. This time, however, thanks to the help of a man who takes him back to his village, Nate was spared an icy death. As he walks around a Tibetan village, he greets the locals, trying not to cause any trouble. But, oh wait, that's right, he's forgot he's being hunted by a militia who inevitably find him. Hey, sorry for the deaths of your neighbors, guys. Nate was too busy jumping around in your ice temple while his enemies burned down your houses. I mean, he could have warned them at least. So, our mysterious guest awakes. Number nine, frequently lying to his wife. I'm sorry, how was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm hmm Typical day in paradise. Mm hmm Drake's not exactly the type to settle down, so when we catch up with him at the start of Uncharted 4, we know it won't be long before he's back to his old ways of adventuring, treasure hunting, and being a ruthless killer. As we soon find out, he'll even lie to his wife just for one more adventure, telling her that he took a job in Malaysia, when in reality, he's helping out his supposedly dead brother who had, by the way, recently broken out of jail, to find a long-lost treasure because, of course. So are you gonna start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh. Oh, and did we mention that Nate never told Elena about having a brother? Yeah, this, uh, doesn't sit well when she finds out. Was there ever a Malaysia job? Number eight, caused a fire at a manor in France. That's the price. That's not good. While exploring the ruins of a French chateau, Nate and Sully find that they've been tracked down by Talbot, who leaves them to be eaten alive by spiders. After escaping, the duo catch Talbot preparing to burn the place down in order to ensure their demise. We understand that Nate couldn't have stopped this fire entirely, unless of course he had shot the guards holding the gasoline and torches, or maybe if he had, you know, never gone there. But had he simply done business with Talbot in the first place, none of this would have happened, and the building would still be standing. Uh, speaking of which... <coughs> oh, man. That was close, huh? Number seven, demolished a pub in London. It's only minutes into Uncharted 3 before Nate and Sully begin trashing up the place. We see them enter a classy-looking bar, complete with a nice pool table and some stylish furniture. When the duo are almost screwed out of a bad business deal, though, they end up trashing the place in a big old bar brawl. All of that lovely furniture is smashed to bits, the windows are shattered, and even part of the bathroom gets demolished. Couldn't you guys have taken this outside? You okay in there? You hurt? It's just my pride. Number six, broken into the Istanbul Palace Museum. You in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> of all the relics you could be going after, you choose a lamp? Yep, our wise Kraken hero has become a dirty frickin' criminal. Nate and Harry Flynn decide to break into the Istanbul Palace Museum, knocking out guards and injecting them with a few tranquilizer darts. These poor bastards are simply doing their job, and they're doing it with very little protection. What could be so important for Nate and Flynn to steal? Well, a Mongolian oil lamp, of course which they would immediately shatter. They did this to find a map to Shambhala. They just, you know, had to destroy a priceless artifact in order to do it. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Hey guys, despite his atrocities, if you actually like Nathan Drake, we have an origins of him, which you can see over here. And down in the description, we've also got a link to a collaboration we did with his voice actor, Nolan North, where he basically roasts Watch Mojo. Check them both out, good videos. Let's get back to it. Number five, destroyed the tree of life. No, 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 you have got to be kidding me. Okay, we'll admit that no one should possess the power that is the tree of life. With sap that grants near invincibility, the tree of life is basically the key to immortality. 
If only that resin wasn't also super explosive. However, instead of shooting the resin to kill Lazarevic, couldn't he have just taken the fight away from the priceless tree of life? Doing so could have prevented the destruction of Shambhala, and the resin could have been studied further. Well, it's all lost now. Nice going, Drake. What the hell did you do back there? <laughs> well, you know, save the world. Number four, sent an innocent guard falling to his death. There's a guard right below you. As if trespassing and destroying property wasn't enough, the treasure hunter also turns out to be a cold-blooded killer. During his break-in at the museum, Nate begins climbing up a wall until Flynn notifies him of a guard approaching the edge. Instead of keeping quiet and playing it safe, what does our alleged hero do? He yanks the dude's shirt and sends him flying to a watery grave. Don't forget, this is also that they can steal and then break an oil lamp that will guide them to an ancient city that may not exist anymore. Death is nothing new for Nate, he's mowed down pirates and mercenaries in the past, but this guy, again, just doing his job. Protecting a museum. There's a guy above you, there's a guy above you. Lights out. There's a guy below you, there's a guy below you. Number three, got Elena's cameraman killed. Oh, hey, hey, don't shoot. Hey! <laughs> Nate? After running into Elena and her cameraman Jeff, Nate insists the two join him on his search for Shambhala. Nate, 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 when will you learn not to put your friends in danger? Sure enough, a few chapters later, Jeff ends up wounded after getting shot in the stomach. After carrying him around town, Zoran brutally killed him in front of Elena and the gang. How is Elena gonna explain this one to her boss? What about, you know, Jeff's friends and family? Sorry, Jeff died, we joined my ex-boyfriend in a thrilling adventure to find Shambhala and locate a criminal for NATO. No hard feelings? Okay, I know where the stone is, but you're not gonna find it without me. So just, just let her go and I will lead you right to it. Number two caused the deaths of thousands of people. You may not realize it when you're playing through his adventures, but Nathan Drake kills like a lot of dudes. Exactly how many? Well, in his four main adventures, he took out thousands of people on his way to riches. You could argue that Nate only kills the bad guys, and always in self-defense, but he seems to have no moral quandaries about unloading onto these dudes. Yes, Nathan Drake is known for being a treasure hunter, a damn good one at that, but he's arguably even better suited for killing guys. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Is that it? You asked for it. Pardon me. Number one caused multiple ancient structures to collapse. The Uncharted series is filled with as many explosions and environmental destruction set pieces as a Michael Bay movie. In his many encounters with shady bandits and dangerous militia, Nate has brought an end to many ancient structures throughout his adventures. We've seen collapsing bridges, ancient ruins demolished by explosives, an abandoned manor burnt to a crisp. I mean, need we go on? Weren't there other ways of not causing such a catastrophe? Well, apparently not, or we wouldn't be making this list now, would we? Hey, at least the games were fun. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.